If you watch a lot of movies and are totally into having your house be like your own personal movie theater, then you're someone who's like me. And that's what today's video is all about. Now, I have a really nice big screen TV and I was using kind of a cheesy sound bar to make my system sound a little bit better, but it really wasn't quite up to par. I was really wanting to get something much better when Enclave Audio contacted me, asked me if I'd like to check out one of their latest systems. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this system is just, it's really, it's just an amazing system. It's the Cinehome Pro system. Now this is a 5.1 complete surround sound system. It has 24 hertz, 96 kilohertz, completely uncompressed audio. I mean, all in all, this is just a rock and roll system. It's completely wireless, um, well built. Just honestly, let's just jump in, let's talk tech, and let's talk about this killer surround sound system. Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10 and Windows keys are under 15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. The THX certified Cinehome Pro Cinehub Edition bundle is powered by 11 perfectly tuned Class D amplifiers. 14 custom designed drivers with a 10 inch subwoofer and the Enclave Cinema Hub, which will seamlessly transform your living room into a true surround sound cinematic experience, which no sound bar can even compete with. Now this system features support for Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, DTS Digital Surround, Dolby Pro Logic 2, eARC and ARC, and it has optical inputs as well. Plus, you can upgrade this system to a moving 5.4 system as well. The system is Roku TV ready, made to work seamlessly with your Roku box and its remote. Right off the bat, when I received this system, it came in a giant, really super duper heavily well-made box. I'd have help lifting the box into the house, but inside the box was completely everything that you need to get going. You have your two front speakers, you have your center speaker, your two rear speakers, and your 10 inch, you know, front firing subwoofer. So everything that you get comes in the box, including the WISA technology box. Now the WISA technology, this allows for all of the wireless connectivity throughout the entire system. In the box, you also get these white gloves so you don't get any of your greasy burger, pizza, oily fingerprints all over your nice new speakers. Honestly, connecting the system is really, really simple. And the fact that you don't have to have any wires lying all around your house makes this a really fast, really, really fast setup. All you really need to do is have a TV that has at least an SPDIF connector or an eARC connection. And it's a simple one hook connection from the little box to your TV. And then after that, speaker placement is really only reliant upon having a power plug. That's really that all that you need. Now, when you're first setting up your TV and everything like that, all you're gonna really need to do after you connect your cables is go into your TV settings, choose either the SPDIF connection or choose the eARC connection and you're good to go. Now, something I'm going to say before I really get into some of the specs and stuff about this is that um, you're gonna freak out probably at first and go, hey, what's going on? There's no like remote control that comes in the box. Well, that's because the remote control will either be operated by your remote control that you, ever, that you already have, or if you have a Roku box, it'll work off that. But basically all you really need to do is download their app onto your phone 
And from there, everything can be completely, you know, fine tuned down to the detail. And then after that, you can just use your TV or Roco remote to control the volume. Because once you set everything up, you're totally good to go. Now, let's talk about the specs of this crazy system. Now, the two front speakers and the center speaker, these are 600 millimeter speakers. They each contain, that's the size of them rather, and they each contain three speakers, three drivers, and three tweeters, <laughs> right? And each one of them already has the Class D amplifier built into it. So all you need to do, like I said before, is plug those speakers in. Now, the subwoofer, it's a 10 inch front firing subwoofer. It has a really neat design because the design in the front kind of just like, kind of looks like, kind of like, a, like an arrow or a V. So that looks pretty cool. And the rear speakers, they have a single three inch driver and a single three inch tweeter. This thing, once you set it up, is crazy. Now, you're gonna see that the first thing that you're gonna need to do of setup was once you plug the box in, is go around and turn every one of the speakers on because if the speakers aren't all powered at the same time, then you won't be able to have the system up and running. It's going to require that. That's just, you know, a, 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 an easy thing. Um, also, I found that the system, when it first turns on and it sets up the WISA connection, WISA connection, I want to pronounce that. Um, once it starts setting up at first, it'll make a couple of little errors as it corrects everything. But once it actually goes through its initial diagnostic and everything, things work really good. Now, these speakers are not junk either. They're made of MDF material, but the screen in the front is metal. There's no sharp edges. There's nothing junky about them. And what I really like is that all of these speakers can be mounted to your walls to create a true, what I would consider a true home theater type system. Now, a lot of people out there will, you know, say, oh, I've got a, got a sound bar. Well, a sound bar is nothing like at all like this system. This is a THX certified system, which means that, you know, if you get a movie that, you know, and you guys know what THX is, right? George Lucas certified THX, Star Wars, you know, all that stuff. I'm just saying it's loud. I mean, really, 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 really loud. Now, I set up my two front speakers on the wall. I set my center speaker right in the center of my TV. I set my subwoofer off to the right of my couch. Subwoofer, you know, the, the, that sound is not really directional. It just kind of rumbles across the floor. So the placement really doesn't matter about that. I just looked for a good place to be out of the way that I could plug in. And then my rear speakers, I put those on the wall back behind me. I'm gonna tell you guys this. So the other night I was just really new to the system and I was sitting in my living room, I drank a little bit, smoked a little bit. Shh, say anything to anybody, you know, I'm down low about that. You know, and I was sitting watching it and then all of a sudden I'd really kind of forgotten about the surround sound and like <laughs> in the show, somebody like yelled behind me, hey, and I literally almost came off my couch and flew into the TV. I mean, it scared the living bejesus out of me, man. And this system is so loud that if you turn it up to its maximum, it's going to just shake everything in your house. Now, what I did is something that a lot of people might not really do, but I'm really into audio. So I took an SA CD player, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a CD player that does 5.1 audio. Like a lot of people have these, these CDs. And I fine tuned my system, not only to, to uh, movies, but to music as well. And uh, this system, a lot of times I'll be like, ugh, these 5.1 audio systems when I'm listening to audio, just, it sounds thin. That's about the best word I can use. Not with this system. Um, I was able actually to get my, my Xbox to actually play some of the Super Audio Disc in 5.1. And I'm telling you, man, it sounds amazing. Plus, if you're sitting in your living room, right, and you turn off the surround sound system and just watch the TV, the TV audio, it's literally like completely just sucking the life out of your home theater system. And when it's on, it just brings everything to life. I've had a lot of home theater systems in the past few years, and there's really nothing like this particular system. And I, at first, I had thought, oh, okay, here, I, I found a flaw with this that I'll be able to give these guys a swift kick in the shin so I know you guys love for everybody to beat up on stuff. 
And that was a problem with the eARC connection, but I actually found out that that was a problem with my Samsung TV and not their system at all, because what would happen is I would walk away and come back about an hour later and all my speakers would be turned off. It wouldn't connect to the eARC connection and I had to go around turning all the speakers on and changing out the eARC thing which was just like, it was a pain in the butt. Finally, I figured out a way to just go in and change a couple settings in the actual um, menu on the TV to fix it. But it was really weird at first. And I was like, why is it doing this? But once I hooked it up to a different TV, a Sony TV, um, I had no problems whatsoever with that. So it's not a problem with the system. So the system's coming to market right now at about $1,400. They're completely out of stock, I believe at the moment, because honestly, this is a great system. I really can't say anything bad about it other than the price that is, that's pushing the $1,500 range. But the Weissa Wireless, like I said, it produces completely uncompressed audio. And that doesn't matter whether you're watching movies, streaming, listening to music, the, the, the clarity of the audio through this, regardless of what you're doing, is just really, really nice. It's completely wireless, which means that you don't have to run any cords around your house, trip over cords, do all that type of stuff. You just need to find a power plug and with extension cords and little, you know, extension little things for plugging them in. You can honestly find places to do a surround sound system. Now, the only thing that I would say is if you're gonna, you know, set one of these up, it's kind of really better if you have a way to put the speakers behind you or to the side of you. Now, you can also upgrade this system to a 5.4 system. That means they have a way that you can actually send the audio up and around. A previous system that I actually reviewed about a year back, um, it actually had a 5.4 system. And all that really was doing was saying that it shot the audio up and around you as well as in the regular surround mode. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Now, it would have kind of been nice if you could add even more speakers to make it a 7.1 system, but I don't really think anybody's personal house is set up that way. But if you built a dedicated room in your house to be like a home theater room, then that would have been a really killer upgrade. So here's how it is. Setup, very, very simple. Audio quality, excellent. And there's no complaints there whatsoever. So ease of use, ease of setup. Great sound, speakers are well built, good warranty, easy directions on how to do everything. Really the only caveat all I could see about this system at all is if somebody's gonna say, oh, you know, it's expensive. But I think honestly, for the money that you're paying, you're getting something that's well worth it. The fact that it's wireless to me is just just, I can't even tell you how much I think that's just amazing. And at first I thought, you know, that the, the, the Wisa box was just gonna be like, eh, okay, this isn't gonna be that great, but I was wrong. It works absolutely stunning. Once it's set up, it's easy to do. Like I said, it's probably gonna work with your remote control that you already have for your TV, especially if you have a newer TV or if you have a Roku box, it'll work with that. So what I would really suggest doing is get everything set up, hook it up to your TV, download the app into your phone, set everything up with your phone, and then after that, you can just control the volume and you'll be good to go. I think this is an editor's choice product here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm thoroughly impressed with the system. Enclave Audio did an amazing job with this. I mean, there's really honestly nothing to complain about. Even when you turn it up full blast, it doesn't distort, it just makes the windows in your house shake. Um, if you live in an apartment building, unless you want to get evicted or really just piss your neighbors off and be the neighbor that there's like, and be that guy, I probably wouldn't suggest getting this if you live in an apartment. But if you've got a nice house and you've got a big screen TV, hell yeah. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' comments down below. If you've got any questions or anything, um, you can ask them to me, but I think I've pretty much covered everything in this video. So all Dolby formats are covered. THX is covered. Pretty much any type of surround type thing is out there. One simple cable for a connection. I don't know. I'd like to find something to complain about, but I really can't. Like usual, I'll have links down below. So if you guys wanna get some more information about this system, um, they do have some in stock on Amazon. So I'll put a link down there below that. 
but directly from them, which are having a little bit of a sale right now, they're out of stock until probably the, the second week of February, I'm thinking right now, from what it's looking. But um, that's that. Also, if you like my style, hey, I'd love to see you guys back here. But if you hit that subscribe button, make sure that you hit the notifications or you won't even know I'm making videos. Plus, the best way you can help this channel by not spending any money at all is by trying the link that I have down below to try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more tech. 2021 is right around the corner, babe. Woo!